AI and ChatGPT specifically are taking over the world. ChatGPT. How many of you know what ChatGPT is? And it's called ChatGPT. It's not the next thing, it's here. The issue that I'm seeing right now though is all these videos right now are telling me how to make money from ChatGPT, earn $10 every two minutes, the secret to making $250 per day with AI, 13 businesses you can start with ChatGPT. But what I'm not seeing is how to become a master of the tool itself. People that built houses back in the day, they didn't go from using a hammer to a nail gun and just being like, here you go, nail gun, build the house. They mastered the new tool that made them a hundred times more efficient. It made them a more skilled laborer and made them make more money. And that's what we're here to do today. What if I told you there was a way to optimize these AI tools to become the master, to become irreplaceable and to be years ahead of everyone else? I didn't think it would be this easy. This video is all about becoming a master using the tool of AI. Let's go over some of my favorite tips and some of my favorite examples to show how you can go from a beginner in AI to the master that everyone asks, hey, can you help me out? Before I even get into the video, the first thing you're gonna do to make this even easier is download the desktop version of ChatGPT. It takes two seconds to download and it's a smoother experience, but more importantly, we can have more control of the tool itself and make things even easier. I'll add the link to downloading the desktop version in the description below. Like I said, there I was. I wanted to learn how to use ChatGPT as fast as possible. But the hardest part of learning any new skill is knowing where to start. I had a pretty solid understanding of AI and ChatGPT, but it wasn't enough. I was a simple man using the tool. So I went to where the best information about anything is, ChatGPT. Okay, I also went to Google because I'm a boomer. Specifically online communities like Twitter, Discord, and Reddit. There are thousands of discords talking about AI use cases, prompts, which remember that word for this video and much more since i purchased the chat gpt subscription i just went into the open ai discord itself because a ton of people are showing off what they're using the tool for and how to make the tool work better for them this is an unprecedented tool as well chat gpt is the fastest growing 1 million user based tool of all time it blows away facebook it blows away Twitter, Instagram, anything you can think of. It reached 1 million users in less than five days. I also found an awesome GitHub link. That's gonna be the most important thing in this entire video. Also link in the description down below, but more on that later. That's all about awesome chat GPT prompts. There's a ton of valuable information in these communities, in these discords, but I'll let you go into the weeds from there. I'm not gonna explain everything. You gotta do some of the work yourself. Besides, the point of this video isn't to show you all the cool things ChatGPT can do. It's to show you how to use ChatGPT better than anyone else. Remember how I told you to download the desktop version? Well, here's why. It allows you to download this awesome prompts shortcut code list to save you a ton of time moving forward. What these prompts do is ask these questions in a specific way to make sure they get the highest quality responses back from the tool. If you take one thing away from this video, it's this. The number one skill that you need to acquire is learning how to ask the right questions. I used to say when I was younger that learning how to Google something is a skill. You have to know what keyword to use, how the internet works, like how it understands what to search for to help you get your answer the best way possible. It's the exact same thing with AI. Better questions get better answers. For example, let's say I want ChatGPT to come up with title ideas for this YouTube video. If I write, give me title options for a YouTube video about ChatGPT, it'll give me this response. Now let's use one of these prompts that someone already came up with to help us get a better response from ChatGPT. Let's use this one called act as a fancy title generator. Instead of give me some title ideas, we write, I want you to act as a fancy title generator. I will type keywords via comma and you will reply with fancy titles. My first keywords are API test automation. One of the biggest tricks that you're gonna learn in this video is by telling ChatGPT to act as blank. This could be act as a fancy title generator. This could be act as a doctor, act as a mechanic that specializes in diagnosing what's wrong with your vehicle. Wait till you see how much better responses you get by telling ChatGPT to act as a specific expert before you ask the question. Do you see how much detail and expertise are provided in that second response? These prompts work. 
and a fancy title generator is just barely scratching the surface. ChatGPT can do way cooler things than just give you video title ideas. It can act as your personal trainer and dietitian, if you know how to command it properly. It can create an entire workout plan, an entire diet plan based on your specific goals and dietary restrictions if you tell it to act as a personal trainer. Yeah, this machine, this AI can help you get those washboard abs that you've always wanted. To get that result, most people would simply command, provide a workout plan that'll give me a six pack. And ChatGPT would spit out this type of response. However, that command above fails to consider anything about your personal ability. If we reframe the command, we can get the AI to act as a personal trainer. And here's how to do it. I want you to act as a personal trainer. I will provide you with all information needed about an individual looking to become fitter, stronger, and healthier through physical training. And your role is to devise the best plan for that person, depending on their current fitness levels, goals, and lifestyle habits. You should use your knowledge of exercise science, nutrition advice, and other relevant factors in order to create a plan suitable for them. My first request is I need help designing an exercise program for someone who wants to have six pack abs. After a little back and forth with your trainer, ChatGPT will eventually create a workout and diet regimen for you to follow. You can even go one step further and you can ask ChatGPT, hey, can you break down that meal plan into three meals a day? seven days a week. Oh, can you also provide me with the ingredient list for each one of those meals? Hey, can you take that ingredient list and turn it into a shopping list so that I can go to the store right now and buy everything that I need to get that food? Boom. Let's get into some of the more advanced things that ChatGPT can do and how you can get it to do these things even better. What if you wanted to write code by acting as a software developer? All you have to do is tell ChatGPT to act as a software developer. For example, let's say, going back to that example of personal fitness, let's go back to your example of dieting. What if you want to build an app that takes the ingredients that you currently have in your fridge and spits out recipes according to what you have on hand and what you like. It's this easy and here's the prompt that you use to do it. I want you to act as a software developer. I will provide some specific information about web app requirements and it will be your job to come up with an architecture and code for developing secure apps with Golang and Angular. My first request is blank, and then you just give it your app idea, whatever you want it to build. And using that prompt, here's what ChatGPT produced. You would then copy that code snippet as easy as just clicking this button at the top right, paste into your website to add the functionality, and boom. This makes it a lot easier to take your vision, especially for a new business, and bring it to life without having to know how to code at all. The coolest thing is, if you don't know how to take the code that it spit out and actually make it into a website, just ask it, hey, what do I do with that code? How do I take it? How do I visualize it? Where do I host it online? It'll give you everything that you need to. But let's be real. Most people getting into AI right now are here to make money. Web design is great, but the real money is in product design. But what business should you start? And why would you have to come up with that answer on your own? By using the startup idea generator prompt, you can have ChatGPT do that for you. So why isn't everyone coming up with business ideas using ChatGPT? For two reasons. Number one, it's early. Not too many people know about the AI and what it's capable of. But number two, nobody knows how to command it properly. Most people who see these videos of how to make $1,000 using ChatGPT simply go to ChatGPT and type in, hey, can you give me a business? These commands are so vague that ChatGPT cannot perform at its greatest. Here's how you can supercharge that and start your own business right now. We're gonna use this prompt, you ready? We're gonna tell ChatGPT to generate digital startup ideas based on the wish of the people. For example, when I say, I wish there's a big, large mall in my small town. You generate a business plan for the digital startup complete with idea, name, a short one-liner, target user persona, users pain points to solve, main value propositions, sales and marketing channels, revenue stream sources, cost structures, key activities, key resources, key partners, idea validation steps, estimated first year cost of operation, and potential business challenges to look for. Write the results in a markdown table. Clearly using that prompt, we got a way better answer from the tool. But the result was the same for all the examples. The one with the better question, the one with the better prompt was way better. There are hundreds of prompts and scenarios on that list, that spreadsheet, but it's even easier because you can just download it, you can upload it into the desktop version, and you can just quickly type in the shortcuts to have all those prompts ready, and then you ask the question. It does everything. You can ask it to be a stand-up comedian, you can ask it to give you magic tricks, you can ask it to give you every single trick to bake the best Excel spreadsheets. Just check it out for yourself. A ton of people think that AI will replace jobs and even industries, and honestly, it will. That's not a bad thing. New jobs will be created from this surge in technology. The one thing that will be irreplaceable is not person doing a job, because AI can do that. Person 
with AI doing that job will win every single time. So you want to become a master of using these tools. The first thing I would suggest is use this tool as much as possible. Play around with it, get comfortable, push it to its limits, see what it can do. Start by replacing everyday tasks like making recipes or summarizing long articles. The more you play around with it, the more you'll see the potential and the more of an expert you'll become. But by asking the right questions and providing the tool with the proper prompts will make you 10 times better, a hundred times better than everyone else. The one thing that AI and ChatGPT can't do that you can do though, is like this video and subscribe for more content.